In this video I'm going to show you a way to create a beautiful flash drive with Linux Mint. So I'm going to assume that you are already familiar with Linux Mint and that you know how to create a ISO image and burn it into a CD or DVD. So the first step is to plug in the flash drive. Okay, I just plug in the flash drive that I want to <coughs> install Linux Mint into it. Okay, I want to format and partition it. And for this I will be using this program called Disk Utility. From here I select the flash drive I want to format and partition. I will on I I am going to unmount this. Now I'm going to delete it. So in order to create partitions that will be uh, compatible with Linux. So the, this is going to be a 12.7 extension ext4 uh, type of memory. I'm going to can call it root or anything you want. And now the rest of the free memory I will be using. Uh, one gigabyte for the memory swap space. Okay, so I'm going to format another partition, the final one. This one will be type FAT. This type of memory is accessible through my Microsoft, Apple, and Linux computers. Okay, I have just formatted and partitioned this. Uh, flash drive. Now go get your um, DVD with Linux Mint, insert it into your computer. When the system is booting up, press either Escape, F12, or F9 to access the boot manager and choose the option CD DVD so that you access the live CD. So this process that I just did formatting the flash drive is something that you can do straight from the live CD. The live CD looks like this. It has basically everything that Linux Mint has. <coughs> and this is a picture and as you can see there's an icon that says install Linux Mint. So for once you access the live CD, you want to plug in the flash drive, and as you can see, those two icons show the memories that were created. The 13 gigabytes is the root partition, and the other two gigabytes are the FAT32 um, file system. Now, double either double click or right click and open the install Linux Mint icon so that it used get this uh, screen for the installation so you choose your the language that you want uh, for your preference then click continue uh, the next window shows you that in case um, you have at uh, making sure that you have at least 5.3 gigabytes of uh, memory available in case you use the DVD version of Linux Mint I was not connected to the internet at that point when I was installing Linux Mint into the flash drive, so that's okay. So I'm going to click continue. Now the next thing that shows up is the wireless. In case you were using a laptop, it will ask you if you want to use uh, a connection. It even registers the uh, wireless card that is in t uh, down that is used in my computer. But I, that uh, internet connection will slow down your uh, <clears throat> your installation of the of Linux Mint. So I decided to continue without it. There was a window that showed up with uh, information about the, this device, which is the flash drive, was being uh, mounted. So was asking for permission to unmount. Uh, this system. You want to click yes to this option. So I'm going 
going to explain why. So, uh, as you can see now in this image, in this picture, the icons are gone from the icons from the flash drive. So the next window that shows up is the installation type. For the installation type, you want to select something else, and that will give you a little more freedom to decide where to install Linux Mint. So click continue after you select something else. Now the installation type. This is what's going on in my computer uh, at first. Then you want to scroll down in that screen where you see the icon of the mouse to where your device is and you are able to see three different partitions the ones that were created the ext4 um, for the root partition the swap space and the fat32 memory so you want to select that device it's called slash dev slash sdv and you want to select the ext4 partition you want to change that one so this is the window that shows up you don't want to change anything about the size but you want to change the use as and make sure you select either ext4 or ext3 then you want to format this uh, partition and the mount point will be the slash which is the root partition select ok and continue so this so also make sure under device for boot a loader installation that the sla the same device slash dev slash sdb is selected this is very important because uh, if you mess this up you may damage your computer so make sure they match okay now just continue with the installation so ins this is gonna make the changes the changes will run and you will have to select the location where you are at you can continue after that and so then you will select your keyboard for your keyboard you can type some keys and make sure that you have the right keyboard so you click continue and basically the next is a little more common sense you just type enter your name your computer name here I was using a USB not a desktop or a laptop so I selected slash USB as my computer name I chose a password and you had the option to log in automatically or require a password when you log in so it doesn't really matter to me I guess required and the password should be ok and now after you click continue the installation will take a little bit long there is a slide of that tells you what Linux Mint has to offer you yeah 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 so after you finish the installation you will have a window that looks like this with the installation is complete so you will have to restart the computer and access your flash drive the same way as you access your live CD just restart your computer and select uh, while it, the computer is booting up select the boot menu or boot manager by pressing F12, F9 or escape uh, it depends you know, for Mac I don't know I'm not sure what is for Max but after that the installation you will see a screen like this the welcome to Linux Mint um, window there is a FAT32 uh, file system that was created it's going to be registered as if it was a separate flash drive so you will have a, a login you will see basically what Linux Mint is yeah, as if it was installed into your desktop there's a calendar, there are going to be some updates available in case you have internet connection you are free to do them the sound settings the network the, 
there on the left hand side there are some icons that show you to access your folders they call them directories in GNU Linux there is the terminal window now, and there is a Firefox web browser which as you can tell it was not connected to the internet so it didn't really matter then there is the show desktop icon and it hides all the windows that are in the screen well except for the welcome to Linux Mint and the menu they use for the desktop environment they use cinnamon it's pretty cool anyways just notice that you will have some kind of um, um, uh, flash drive so don't try don't try to remove it uh, while you use this flash drive as your uh, co computer so that's basically it if you have any questions just make a comment